Welcome to Sanya, a city located on the southern end of China's Hainan Island that is often referred to as the Hawaii of China. wanted to go in China for so long and it's literally taken me like two years to get here but I'm here and this is supposed to be like what they say the Hawaii of China which I think it kind of is just a good place to come relax nice um, white sand some resorts and I'm here with Daniel Say hi. hi. if you guys remember Daniel he came on the Guatemala trip he's also one of my lovely patrons and we are here traveling Sonia together We have decided to rent a bike here in Sanya and tour around the island. This is an electric bike though because they don't allow gas bikes here in the downtown city. I've never driven an electric bike. <laughs> this is 50 RMB a day. Um, but you just turn the key to on and then you just touch the throttle and just go. That's the gas of power. Okay. Alright, you coming? If I could run with you And from what I have heard You do the same thing too So this bike maxes out at like I, I got it up to 49 kilometers So that's the fastest I could get it going downhill though So it actually maxes out at around like 40 Woo! So yeah, not the funnest bike, but um, at least you can get around this island. <laughs> It's an open scenic zone with crowded people. In order to ensure the safety of your property, never leave your clothes, wallet, cell phones, car keys, and other valuables on the beach or on a beach chair carelessly without any guarding. Burglars usually check you and steal clothes mobile phones, wallet, and car keys that you put on the beach when you are swimming in the sea. Oh my god. What the? I, I kind of feel like you should do one of your updates with him casually behind you. <laughs> you think you can see that I'm recording him? probably likes it. You want to explain what's happening right now? Uh, someone is flexing on the beach <laughs> and getting their photo taken. There's not really any other way to put that. It's really crazy to me because I've been traveling China for the last month and there's just like nobody here in Sanya. Like as you can look on this beach, there's barely anybody on the beach. Not really um, what you think of when you come to China. Usually there's a lot of people. Um, but yeah, everybody's just kind of relaxing here. It's a really nice vibe. We just had some drinks at this uh, bar up here at the Intercontinental. There are these chairs that are in the shape of spoons. At least Daniel said that they look like spoons. Counting every second till the sun goes down. Heartbeats buzzing to the neon sound. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ripped and teased never felt so free. Be anywhere but you here with me. Let's go. We're the only ones on here. Um, I don't know if this is like a very popular thing to do. So we're gonna be hiking up here to these are the fairy mountains. So the seven fairies that I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right here. So we just walked into the park and I'm a little bit confused. 
the guy told us to grab this and come over here to this gong and tap it three times. He's just looking at me with a motion of, <laughs> okay, so. Okay, you, you have to tap it three times. <laughs> ER son. Shit. I'm not really sure what the point of that was, but I guess it's to celebrate the start of your hike. Maybe bring you good luck. I don't know. But anyway, so we're hiking up to these rock formations that are just above us. We can already see them. Not sure if we'll have time to go to the very top, but at least we'll get some nice views along the way. Anywhere we go, make it feel like home. They say we're the kids of the indigo, like oh. I really like that we are the only ones that seem to be on this hike right now. And it's kind of like you're walking through this like jungle gym. Like everything's all perfectly laid out with stairs and very well marked. And I don't know, doesn't it, it's like, how would you describe this? Jurassic World? I don't know. Jurassic World. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we always dreaming in the summer. say that the only downside to this hike is that it's literally straight up and pretty much only stairs. This doesn't look that bad but most of it's actually pretty darn steep and it's very hot. I probably look really bad right now because I'm just dripping sweat. I feel like I'm in hot yoga honestly so it's a beautiful hike. Not sure how enjoyable it is. I love to hike but I honestly hate stairs so it's um, a bit brutal. I kind of lost Daniel back there but um we're a bit limited on time and I really want to see the top and show you guys the top so oh, wish I had a ride right now this is disgusting <laughs> I mean this is a perfect example of the kind of stairs I'm talking about this just goes straight up way up in there so I reached what is basically the top of the rocks but actually you're supposed to literally climb it they've got ropes to oh. basically rock climb to the top hello 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 um, yeah. so yeah this is how you finish um, i guess i'm going to the top i really don't have much time but it's uh it's got a really nice view over here it's really cloudy though so you can't really see that much but oh my gosh uh, so I'm about to go up there. Okay. Okay. Um, good job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so my fear of heights is uh, really kicking in right now. This is extremely steep down here. Good job. I don't know how much farther I want to go. This is a beautiful view. We're literally climbing the fairy rocks. But um, oh my god, I'm starting to get nauseous. I'm so scared of heights. So the thing is that there's no harness or anything here. So you're just like climbing these rocks. And I mean, you've got this drop. This part's fenced in, but I don't know. Uh, I am officially at the top. I am honestly terrified. We are so high up and there's nothing like really keeping us from falling over except for the small fence. This guy is extremely brave. I don't know how he's standing up there. Um, yeah, this is really cool. I'm just, my heart's, um, feels like it's gonna fall out. Um, but yeah. We just stopped at a restaurant for dinner and something we're noticing just all around Sonia is that 
there's no English translation and it, actually it's instead of English it's Russian so like we have this menu here and everything you know there's pictures of what it is and the Chinese characters but then under it is written in Russian so we really have no idea what we're ordering. Russian, Russian, Russian. It is Russian, right? That's what the Google Translate saying. <laughs> We're kind of guessing that maybe this area is like a place for like, I don't know, where the Russians come for holiday or something, maybe because it's close. And like, you'll see all of the store names. Everything has something in Chinese and then in Russian, <laughs> which obviously um, we don't speak or read Russian or Chinese, so it makes traveling here slightly difficult. Um, it's been a lot of guessing and pointing and hoping that we get something. But um, yeah, even on the streets here, people will just walk up to you and start speaking Russian to you if you're a foreign face, just because they assume you're from Russia and uh, nowhere else. Don't forget guys, if you're traveling to China, you'll need a VPN to access things like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, anything Google. So if you click on my ExpressVPN link in the description box of this video, you'll get three months free of ExpressVPN with a one year subscription. This is exclusively for Where's Poppy followers. This is Yalong Bay. It is supposed to be the best beach in China and I definitely have to agree. The water is just like you would find in Hawaii, which is why this place is also referred to as the Hawaii of China. Um, it's very clear, it's blue-green, super beautiful. We've got white sand beaches. Yeah, this is definitely what I pictured Sanya to be like before coming here. is straight chilling right now. <laughs> what do you think of this beach, Daniel? Uh, if I was gonna define paradise, this would be pretty close. <laughs> this would be paradise? Yeah. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the water here too is so nice. Like when I was in Australia, you had beautiful beaches like this, but it was really cold water. This water is really warm. China and you're maybe on a layover, um, Hainan province, you can come here for uh, 72 hours and you don't need a visa. 72 hour visa free, this is one of the locations. So you can come here and have this beach on the way to wherever you're going in Asia. If you wanted to stop in China, still get a little bit of that Chinese experience, try some local food and then come to an island paradise. Sounds good to me. My heart is a wall with my thoughts. And I don't know which side is better I try to connect all the dots Oh, to let you in behind my shelter You could fit into my life When it's daylight and it's night I would give away my soul But is it worth it? I 
don't know. I don't, I don't know. Right now we are at the number one market, which is the biggest night market here in Sanya. Hello. And um, yeah, they've got a lot of cool shops here, just like little things you can buy. Lots of jewelry I'm seeing. I just bought some sunglasses. Um, I think in a minute we'll get to the food part, but there's a good place here for grocery shopping. enjoyed visiting Sanya, a place that I've wanted to visit for so long. I hope you're enjoying all my China videos. If you like them, remember to subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to see stories. Daniel, you have to say goodbye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Vlog over. <laughs> Bye.